So I wasn't even trying to get my hopes too, too high and then boom, we hit something. We that right there will give you a good example of, you know, look at these guys. Holy hell, man. How freaking insane is that? What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Guys, before we start this vlog, could you guys do me a big, big, big favor? Could you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed? Our engagement with the last recent vlogs that we've been having, that I've been putting a lot of effort into, have been doing really, really good. And you guys know that the comments, the thumbs up, just do a lot better for us. So please, if you guys could do me that favor, that'd be freaking awesome, guys. We'd really, really, really appreciate it. And as you guys can see, we hit the snake lottery odds once again. This right here is our second most expensive clutch that we have hatched. And this right here was, it was very, um, the odds were, I mean, they weren't a hundred percent. So we took a big chance with this, but man, did it pay off like beyond, beyond, beyond. It was freaking amazing. But before we get to that clutch, um, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Ion from Georgia. He actually opened up his own pet store out there in Georgia. It's called North Georgia Exotics and he purchased a good amount of snakes from us. So if you guys are in the Georgia area and if you guys want some of our snakes, or any other crazy animals, because he has gonna have a lot, a lot of stuff over there. Go check him out. All his information is gonna be on the description down below. Instagram, Facebook, his address to the pet store, his website. Guys, do me a big favor, go give him a follow, go check him out, and go to his store and tell him that you saw him on the vlog. Well, not him, but you know, this vlog. And he actually was able to share a couple of pictures with us of some of the stuff that he's gonna be having there for sale that we're gonna share with you guys right now. Check this out. How crazy is that, right? Dude, I know, he has some cool, cool stuff, man. When we go out there to go visit uh, Justin again here in a couple of weeks, I'm definitely gonna go check out his store. That way we can do a whole vlog over there. So now, let's check out a couple of snakes that he got from us that will be available for purchase out there at North Georgia Exotics. So check these two beauties right here. So right here we have a vanilla pewter. It is in a shed right now, actually both of these are. But look how beautiful this thing is. And then right here we have a pewter orange dream scaleless head. Look at that. Is it picking it up right there? So that thing's about to tag you, turtle. Oh, I see it. That thing is about to tag you. So here's two sn Oh, snap, you see that? <laughs> Sorry, um, it's just a little stressed out right now. I know it's gonna have a long flight right now. But yeah, we're actually shipping these snakes out to him right now. So he'll get these tomorrow. And you gotta see this video on Wednesday. So the snakes are already be over there. But yeah, let's check out a couple more. Here's two other snakes that are freaking awesome that he's getting. Right here, we have an inchy yellow. Nope, wrong one. So real quick, guys, as you guys see his name right there, it says Ion Tina. I thought his name was Ian, and I'm like, and I said, Tina, no. the homie's name is Ion. Like, do you guys get that mixed up? I had to check her out a little bit, you know? All right, back to this one. So right here, he is getting a inchy yellow belly, 100% hep pie. Look at this beauty right here. Isn't that freaking insane? And then right here, we have a fire clown that he's also gonna be getting. And this is just four snakes that we've shown, and he's getting about 16 to 18 snakes, I believe. But again, go check out North Georgia Exotics. If you guys are in Georgia, go check out his pet store and then check out all of his social media handles that are gonna be on the description down below. Please do me that favor, guys. As always, man, we love you, but this vlog ain't over. Let's go check out this crazy, crazy clutch. You know, since we're in here, as you guys can see, we have a lot of green tags over here. Again, you know, from track tags. We have some pairings going on in here. I wanna share these cool pairings with you guys because you know, like our season starts late. We're just now starting. Um, check this out right here. Let's see they're still locked up. Yup. And right here we have a DG Clown bred to a spot nose uh, desert ghost. And then right here we have, this, is an, this one I actually made this, um, this pairing last season, but I made two snakes in there that, I mean, dude, I got blown up on them like you wouldn't freaking believe. So, I mean, we hit the, the combo we, we wanted. Um, I usually wouldn't do this pairing twice just because I already I kept the stuff that I wanted But a couple of people asked me hey man if you can make this please, you know um, Please redo it again We'll pay you know a certain amount of dollars for it and I'll share the two snakes that were just super super crazy We made it because again, we didn't know that she was a uh, heck cryptic and we made some crazy kryptons But um, well, let me show you the pairing real quick. So we have a uh, cypress hypo now heck cryptic uh, 
breed into a black pastel hypo clown had desert ghosts. Oh, they're not locked no more. They were. Dang. But yeah, that was a pairing we already did. And um, the snakes that I got a lot of, you know, just man, people wanted them was a black pastel cypress hypo krypton. And I did get a male, kept that one. I think it was amazing. Check this bad boy out. Then the second one from that clutch was a black pastel cypress. Same thing. It just wasn't, uh, didn't come out Krypton. It was just hypo, you know, and obviously they're both 50% head DG, um, but check the non-Krypton version of this snake. Yeah, crazy, right? So that's why we're redoing the pairing again. Hopefully we hit a couple of more of those because I have a couple of people out of the country that really, really want them. And then right here we have a pastel cypress hypo breed into an orange dream, yellow belly, desert ghost head hypo. I'll check this out. Let me see each other here. I'm like an inch taller than you, big dog. Yeah, work that extra inch. Look at the colors on those bad boys. Freaking amazing. All right, so this clutch right here, man. So the other clutch that we made that was uh, that we hit the snake lottery odds was when I wanted to make some double heads. It was a orange dream, yellow belly, inchy Genex pie. The original Genex pie that I had that made most of my pie stuff. And I put him to a leopard pinstripe desert ghost. I had no idea she was head hype. I mean, head pie or anything. So we bred them, and then I told uh, Justin about that parent, and Justin said, dude, he goes, she's like 50% head pied because her, um, the father that, that, that sired her, you know, just proved out to be pied randomly too. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I wasn't even trying to get my hopes too, too high, and then boom, we hit something. We hit four pies. I was like, oh my gosh, man. We hit a uh, orange dream, yellow belly, inchy pied, 100% head desert ghost male. Then we hit a female, Inchy, Pinstripe, OD, I mean all the the whole combos do pied, 100% had, had Desert Ghost, freaking crazy. So this pairing right here was a Black Pastel, that same male that we just showed you, Black Pastel Hypo Clown, 66% had Desert Ghost. So we were like, oh man, is this thing really gonna prove out Desert Ghost? We are like, I didn't know, right? And we bred him to a, what was it? Chocolate Hypo Desert Ghost. So the first snake that came out, I was like, oh man, I didn't know. And I, they came out of the clutch, I was like, there's no way. I don't think they, to me, I haven't really, I haven't made no like crazy combos like that. So I waited for them to all shed out. And then they came out and oh my gosh, dude, it proved out Desert Ghost and we had some crazy stuff. Here's the whole clutch. Then I'll go one by one through them. But the crazy thing is we hit, watch man, you'll, you guys will see right now. Okay, so I'll go one by one and you guys see this madness over here. Craziest, craziest clutch of 2022, right? Because they were hatched out in 2022. So let's get started. All right, guys. So let's start off with the most basic ones. And I'm going to throw a couple of the crazy ones in the mix. You guys can kind of see the difference. So right here we have two hypo females. And they're both double head um, desert ghost clowns. So this is how usually hypos look, right? Obviously, you know, some are going to have more broken down pattern just because, you know, the double head's influencing them. But watch this, as Tina's keeps showing you guys this one, let me show you what a Hypo DG looks like. Look at that, man. A lot cleaner and a definitely a lot brighter. That right there will give you a good example of you know what DG does. And I'll compare it just to one so you gotta kind of get a better idea. But look at this. So we have a Hypo double head, then we have a Hypo DG head clown. Crazy, right? So yes, again, like I said, it proved out DG. Um, let me put this back over here. Look at this guy, man. This one right here is a male. It's so insane, man. So, you know, Jeremy from Fireballs, that's actually where I got the male from. He actually, you know, had made a couple of uh, DG Hypo clowns. And dude, he had them up for like $25,000 and they were selling like hotcakes, man, like crazy. Even some of the hats were selling insanely. When I put these up on Facebook and on Instagram, the messages I got for these, I mean, I wish, I wish I had like 20 of them. They would have sold just like that. Um, obviously, you know, if you guys know, if you guys follow my Patreon, I put all these snakes up on Patreon first. Then if they don't sell from there, I go onto my morph market. But these snakes right here, man, I mean, I, I wish I would have made some more of them. But I did manage to make some for myself to hold back and I am selling a few of them. But again, this is the first one. The Hypo DG 100% head clown male. I'm telling you guys, the best part of this is making the Hypo version of the Hypo combo version, then the Hypo DG combo version. So you kind of get a side by side and see what Desert Ghost does. I mean, I can't wait to make the triple visual of recessive combos of these. So right here we have a Hypo chocolate double head Desert Ghost clown. Look at that. Beautiful snake, right? Now check this out. Right here we made the chocolate version of it and again look at the difference on the brightness man so right here you have the hypo 
chocolate and the Hypo DG chocolate. It is so freaking crazy, man, what Desert Ghost does. So insane, man. So freaking insane. And it's so funny because usually I um, want to make a lot of females, um, which I ended up making a lot of females, but then usually I get like, man, I wanted males on this one. I would have loved to have a lot of males, but really didn't get too uh, male heavy on this one. But I did make one very important male that I'll show you guys right now. You know, when we're breeding these snakes, we always want to hit the most powerhouse one, right? Like the powerhouse, powerhouse of all powerhouse one, all the stack genes. And not only did we hit one, we managed to hit three of them, man. I was so freaking, like I couldn't believe it. I really, really could. I was shocked. I even, I was just amazed. I was like, man, I just wanted one male from there. But I was getting so much messages as well. But uh, again, not only did we hit one of these chocolate black pastel hypo desert ghost head clowns. Again, not only two, but three. Look at these guys. Holy hell, man. How freaking insane is that? And look how beautiful they look, man. They were just so freaking clean. Gosh, this is so freaking beautiful, man. So again, guys, here they are, man. Three powerhouse freaking Hypo DG 100% head clowns. And we have 1.2 of these right here. I'm obviously gonna be keeping 1.2. I mean, sorry, I'm obviously gonna keep it 1.1. I'm gonna sell another female and I think I might be keeping another male. I'm not sure. Um, but man, again, we got super, super lucky, super stoked that we hit these odds. Let me put these two back real quick so I kind of get, you know, a little close up on that one. All right, tortoise, show this one. And this right here is the keeper for me, one of them. I'll be keeping two of them. But look how pretty this is, man. So freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait to see the clown version of this. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Again, man, go check out North Georgia Exotics. Um, super, super excited about this. I can't even tell you guys. Um, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.